everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be look four using the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice palette every month on my channel. I do a five looks, one palette series, and this month we're doing Too Faced Pumpkin Spice, and looks one through three are gonna be linked down below for you. And yeah, I already got my eyes primed and ready to go. My primer is avidly creasing though. That's good, right? <laughs> Also, I have like glitter all over my face right now because I was just swatching some glitters and of course that happens when you like are using glitter and then it just like ends up just about everywhere. So I have that going on right now and like it's all over my hands. <laughs> for some reason it's on my face. I didn't touch my face so this is very weird for me. But yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. We're doing a giveaway to 1,000 subscribers so subscribe for that. And let's go ahead and get started. This palette is so gorgeous, so perfect for fall and winter. It's like a great holiday palette. And I'm, I actually like was a little upset at first that Too Faced did not like re-release their gingerbread palettes this year. But you know, I am just loving this more and more every single day. This is so beautiful. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start out with the shade Fall for it, which is like a quarterly peachy kind of shade. And let's get out a good brush for this one. All right, I'm just pulling out a JH32 from Morphe. Oh, you know what? I need to set my primer. I usually just prime with concealer, but I always like to just set everything, making sure everything's like a little more uh, smooth, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna go into whipped cream, which is just like this whitish, kind of shade and I'm just gonna pack this on oh this is a great tip just use concealer for your eye primer because you already have some to put on your face on your under eyes and stuff anyways I just wonder I got another zit this zit is like not going away I have used like acne treatments on it and it's like here for the long haul I guess but I'm not here for it <laughs> Okay, let's go in with Fall For It. Just gonna kind of buff that in the crease. This is gonna be a really interesting look, I think. I did see somebody on YouTube. I, I watched so many videos on like the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice eyeshadow palette and I was kind of inspired to do something similar. And I cannot remember who it was. I think it was Leora Loves Makeup. But I saw her do a look like kind of like this, I think. And I was just like, oh my God, that is so beautiful. So here I am doing it. Also, if you recreate my makeup looks, be sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see, you know, how you recreate it. Because even if it's like the same colors, a lot of the times it's like, you know, different eye shapes and stuff and it can make, your look almost look completely different. And you guys, okay, so I use like a brow razor to kind of like touch up my brows a little bit. And I was dumb and I was touching up around up here and I shaped like a tiny part of my brow out, but it makes the shape of my brows look, my brow look really weird. So now I'm like trying to like, compensate the shape of my brow. I could tell right before I just like filled it in there but it was had like a little dip right there. It's driving me nuts so I'm trying to like just fill it in with some brow pencil. I'm using like the Morphe one but have you, ever, have you guys ever seen the video where like oh my gosh I am so scared this is gonna happen to me but like where a girl's like touching up her her brows with like a razor and then like the door slams and, the, and her like boyfriend, husband, whatever comes home and like, honey, I'm home and she shaves off like half of her brow. I'm terrified of something like that happening. <laughs> but like I've, I've seen that a couple times and I'm just like, oh God, oh God. And I did, you know, something like that and I'm like, Durr, why am I like that? But let's go into whipped cream again. I'm just going to highlight the brow bone just a little bit. Just like that. I'm just kind of brightening up the inner corner. Now what I want to go into is a mix of pumpkin spice and ginger spice, which are these two shades right here. And I'm going to use this brush that I've had for like 11 years. It's from Target. They don't sell this anymore. I think it was like, 
I don't even remember. It was like a Target brand brush. This was like two or three bucks. But I'm just kind of buffing this in the crease a little bit lower, kind of giving this a little more orangey brown vibe. I don't know why I'm using this one, this mirror, but I like this mirror a ton better. <laughs> like a little hand mirror. These colors just blend so well. I cannot like commend Too Faced enough for just always, just like just stepping up their game recently. Like this past year or so, they just really have just gone all in. Like I am here for it. Thank you, Too Faced. Like I am currently I'm reviewing working on reviewing like three more holiday items from them. And I if you haven't seen my Enchanted Forest collection review on Too Faced, I'm gonna link that down below for you. But it is so good. Let me show you. This is what it looks like. This I think this is like their kind of like their big set this year. But oh look at that. It's so pretty. Like, the, it's just, it's such good quality, too, which is what I love. And, you know, I'm testing out some other ones right now to review one later this month and then two in December. And, oh my god, like, I can just be over the moon, like, impressed with these. And, like, Too Faced, you're just killing it. And then this palette is just awesome. So, props to Too Faced. I really think that they have, like listened to their consumers and i'm just so proud of them <laughs> let's go into warm and cozy which is like this like warm maroon brown like you guys remember like two three four five years ago their eyeshadow palettes and like their holiday collections were not good people were not you know, talking very good about them every everybody thought they were just kind of crap and i'm not gonna lie they kind of were I mean, I got a couple of sets in 2016, and that was when I was first kind of like getting back into makeup. And I really don't think the quality, and I thought they were pretty good, but I also didn't know a lot about makeup. And I tried out, and I really used those palettes, but compared to stuff like this, I really don't think they compare. So I'm just kind of packing that warm and was it warm and cozy shade in my crease just a little bit. You can still kind of see the peach in here, but we have like the orangey browns out here. I really like that. Now, let's go into the lower lash line. I'm going to take a mixture of pumpkin spice and ginger spice again. Yeah, Tarte doesn't really have any big sets out this year. I mean, they have like their little, like, their like mini, they have like mini Tarte lip palettes, but like I already have two of the three of them, like in like the regular size. So I'm like, well, I don't really need those. They had like that Nine Ways to Shine blush kit. But I already have one of those from last year, and while it's really good, I feel like I'm not going to purchase that for full price. Some of their mascara sets look great, but again, I'm also going to wait for those to go on sale. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, this is so pretty. Okay, now for like the twist. I'm going to take PSL and Chill, which is a purple shade, and I and look three was all about the purples. So I'm going to take this just with my finger, tap my finger off, <laughs> and... I don't know why, but I always immediately look in this mirror, but this hand mirror is just so much better. And I'm just going to pat this on the lid. I wish this purple was just a, t like a tad bit brighter. So I'm just patting that on. Yeah, I just wish it was a little brighter. It's a ton of fallout on my cheek. I'm so glad I don't have foundation on because, oh. Oh yeah, that would have just stained. <laughs> you guys ever had that happen to you? Oh, that is such a pain in the butt. But let's go into one a piece of me. And that's kind of a little more muted, like a grayish purple. I want to brighten this up, but like there's no like champagne shade or anything to do that with. I wish that the purples were like just a little bit like brighter. Oh my gosh, I just dropped that. <laughs> Today is not my day. PSL and chill. That is, okay, that is really pretty. Not gonna lie. The purple isn't really showing up as well on camera as it is in real life, but like, if you look like just in real life, I'm actually really digging this. This looks more like almost grayish on camera, but I really see the purples in real life. I'm sorry about that, that you can't really tell. Just like, 
There you go, you can kind of see it. I don't know why my camera's being funky, but that is a really pretty look, I like it. I also ordered, these are like orange Halloween lights or whatever. I ordered red, red, white, and green lights for the holiday season and they should be coming. I'm filming this on Saturday. They should be coming on Monday and I'm so excited. <laughs> but let's go into the BH Cosmetics liquid liner. So sorry, you can't like really tell in real life and on camera, that is so annoying. I'm gonna do a little wing. Okay, that wing was actually really good, which means the other one's probably not gonna be very good. <laughs> Isn't that just how it goes for me? All right, I did a pretty thin line and then just kind of like a little boop on the outside. <laughs> oh, give me strength. Oh, not bad, not bad. This eye always looks like really bad compared to this eye. Like this one's like the perfectionist, like the beauty guru. And this one's like the like when you try out to make a Instagram tutorial at home. That's what this one is. All right, I've been really enjoying did, I haven't even uploaded that yet, so. I went with the Belief Beauty Voluminize Mascara. This is $4 at Dollar General. It's very good. I wouldn't say it's as good as something like Too Faced, Better Than Sex, or like that, but I really do like this mascara. You do kind of gotta build it up a little bit. That's okay. But it's nice overall. For lips, let's go in with this ColourPop lipstick from the Disney Mulan collection. I think it's this Hua Mulan. I don't want to pronounce, mispronounce it, so this is the name. This is like a nice, warm, creamy, neutral shade, and it really goes along with this look really well. Pretty. That is so pretty. Oh, that really goes well with it. These lipsticks from ColourPop are so good. Mm. I think they're called the Lipstick Lux. That's what I've been calling them. Let's go in with this lip gloss from ABH. It's called Diamond. That just seems perfect for this look. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, just the shine we need without like, you know, really tinting the original lip color. Nice sheen. Oh, that is so pretty. So gorgeous. Ooh. I love it. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I have lipstick in my teeth again. But other than that, oh, look at this look. Look five is around the corner. I am so excited. This palette is the bomb. I will have it linked down below for you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.